Hi everybody, I got my girl Concerto K in the background. Uh, Merry Christmas on this Christmas Eve day from both of us. Should be a, a nice dry afternoon and, and we should, the, the sun is trying, get more and more of the way of partly cloudy conditions and very nice. Okay, let's talk about Christmas Day. We have an inch or more of moisture coming. Once it starts overnight tonight, maybe you know, two, three, four in the morning. Uh, it could be fairly steady all the way through Christmas night and then occasional shots of rain continuing on Wednesday. All total, more than an inch of moisture coming our direction will be more than a foot of snow up in the mountains. And don't forget the winter storm watch likely to become a, warming, a warning for the Columbia River Gorge Christmas Day. This could be six inches or more of snow right down to I-84. And the east winds, you folks live out in East County, will notice them starting to pick up this evening into tonight. And then they'll be blowing, gusting 30 to 40 miles per hour all day Christmas Day. And still an east wind, although not as gusty, but still potentially an east wind into Wednesday morning. So we have all that going on. Now, anytime you get that east wind pulling the cold air out of the gorge, remember this is cold air that, that comes out and sticks down low, okay? That gives you the potential and Pacific moisture comes streaming in for a period of some wet snow or some sleet with temperatures near or above freezing at the surface. So we'll be watching that tomorrow. Forecast charts show the atmosphere warms up at all levels no later than 11 o'clock in the morning. Now, remember this. The snow level tomorrow is really about 3,000 feet and then during the day could go even higher. So that means you got the gorge producing this thin layer of cold air that we'll have to watch. It may or may not produce some wintry weather in the morning. And then when you get above that shallow layer, if you're driving up to Mount Hood, for example, eventually you would turn into just nothing but rain all the way up to 3,000 feet, and then it would become snow. So that's what we're looking at tomorrow. That means as well, even you folks that live in the high metro hills may wake up to 36, 37 degrees Christmas morning and just see all rain. The forecast charts really like our air temperature staying above freezing. But as you know, you don't really know what you're going to have until you get up in the morning and check it out. So we'll see. Uh, the other big story, that dry weather later this week going into the weekend, could see our first hard freeze with temperatures well down to the 20s for much of the area. Merry Christmas.